Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over how to install and use Selenium WebDriver with Python. This is the first video in a series of Selenium WebDriver tutorials that I'm going to do and it's going to go from covering the basics to the more advanced use cases. So uh, basically what Selenium WebDriver is, is it's a tool or framework kind of that allows you to use code to program and automate web browsers. So you can do all sorts of different stuff like make bots or you can test to make sure your website's working properly, uh, stuff like that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set up our Python environment and have a code editor set up. Uh, if you don't have that, you can check out my other video covering that by clicking on the link in the description. Once you have that and you have uh, your environment, the first thing we're going to need to do is go and get Chrome WebDriver. So the Chrome driver is once you have Chrome browser itself installed, you can click this link in the description and what you're going to want to do is download the zip file of the Chrome driver version 74. Once you have that, uh, you'll get a zip file and you'll just want to right click and extract that and what you'll have then is this chromedriver.exe which we'll want to put into our project folder so all we have to do is drag that over and we're basically that's all we have to do for that setup and we're also going to, want to do uh, come down here and do pip install selenium and what that'll do is give us the python client library to work with selenium webdriver so now that that has been successfully installed, what we're going to do is just create our file and you can call it whatever you want. We're just going to call it selenium tutorial.py. And what we're going to do is now uh, get rid of that. You select the Python interpreter. And what we're going to do is from selenium import web driver. And the first thing we're going to do now is just make our instantiate our web driver object using the chrome command and then we're going to test out we're going to do driver.get and then you can type in any URL you want. We're going to just do Google to start uh, but what you have to make sure you do is you always have to put in the HTTPS. That's the one thing you always want to keep in mind. But if we run this now, uh, you can see if everything is installed properly, this will open up an instance of Chrome and we want to allow access. And we can see now that we have uh, this browser open that just goes to this URL directly and you'll see it'll stay open. What you're going to want to do is always make sure that at the bottom here of your code you always do driver.close. What that'll do is close out that browser so you don't have processes running in the background. Uh, if you don't do that uh, you can end up, it'll eat up a lot of memory in the background and cause issues. So moving on now, what we're going to do next is kind of show once you're on a web page some of the basics of what you can do. The simplest is you can do driver.title and that will print out the title of the page. Uh, we can also grab a screenshot with driver.save screenshot and that will basically, like you'd expect, uh, if we give it a name, we'll do screenshot.png. It will just go and grab this a screenshot of the web page that it's currently on. So once again, you can see it goes here, it automatically closes because of this code, and if we open this up, we can see we get a screenshot of what was in our browser instance. We can also see down here, driver.title, it printed out this Google text right here. So whatever the title of that page is, you can grab it with that attribute right there. But for this tutorial, this first video in this series, all I wanted to really cover was how to get Chrome driver downloaded on your computer, how to get your Selenium uh, library installed and then just kind of show a quick overview of how to use the basic browser to open up a 
web page and test it out and make sure that you have everything set up properly. Uh, if you had some issues and it's not opening properly and it's not visiting the page, uh, just comment below and I'll try to help you out and point you in the right direction. Following up on this video, I'm going to go over pretty much uh, from, like I said earlier, basic to advanced. We'll go over how to grab elements on a page, how to interact with pages like clicking on stuff, uh, grabbing information, kind of scraping information from whatever pages you're visiting, and then also go into some more advanced settings like headless mode so that it doesn't use as much memory, and you can run these, uh, run your scripts in the background, and also some basic stuff like proxies as well. So if you're interested in that, hit subscribe, and I'll be putting out more of these videos over the next couple days.